Hey, it's Tim Estrella, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and my passion is trucks and SUVs. If that's your passion too, make sure you hit subscribe, click the bell, and smash the like button, because you love this video, it's about trucks. I got four trucks for you today. We're here in uh, Off-Road Park in Pennsylvania. They have 375 miles of off-road terrain here. This is a huge off-road park. I have a Ford Ranger, a Jeep Gladiator, a Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro, in the end, I have a Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison. So I have four very off-road capable trucks. I'm gonna do a series of videos on these, so you may watch this intro a couple times. I apologize for that. I'm gonna put the Gladiator versus the Ranger. I'll put the Gladiator versus the Tacoma. So click on the one that appeals to you, and you'll see it. I'll also do one mega video where I'll put all my notes together so you can watch all of it once, depending on what you want to view. So hey, pop the top, pour a little bourbon in your coffee, sit back, relax. We're gonna get fired up and do some reviews, quick reviews, quick drives, and well, some off-roading, which is awesome. We're gonna do some off-roading with these trucks, and I'll tell you more about each one as we get going. This is the Ford Ranger. It came to us in a pretty blue color, but it's got a Super Crew cab configuration. It's got 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine in it. It is an automatic transmission. See around the sides, I have the Lariat package and this trim. I will give you pricing as much as I can on the screen. I don't have for each uh, truck the pricing yet, but I will get that. We're doing the Trail Trek Tour, which is part of the event I'm at. We come around the back and we have the Ranger stamped out in their back. Okay, inside the Ford Ranger, we have a black leather interior. We have the nice kind of uh, side style. I really like the Ranger name over here with the embossed black. Ford in the console, HVAC buttons, the automatic transmission. And we have in here, we'll have the uh, auto start stop button. We have the trailer button, locking differential, and then the button you can't quite see. That's traction control off. Then we have the train mode button and four wheel low and four wheel high, two wheel high as well. This gnarly machine is the Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. We can see we have the biggest off-road tires here, I believe, out of the group. We have some Falcons, Wild, Wild Peaks. All these tires are aired down. These are down, I think, the 15s. Uh, the Ford is like 20, Tacoma is like 20, and I think Colorado is like 18. We have the trail rating badging. Rubicon exterior, interior. We do have the top off there. You can take, take the top off and the sides off as well. Trail Trek Tours where we're at today. Come around the back and we have the big tow hooks and the Jeep badge on the back. Uh, we have the interior of the Jeep here and we have the nice red interior on the side, the accent colors. Big screen. We have the manual four wheel drive. Instead of buttons and stuff, we have the lever. Manual transmission in there and we have the locking front and rear differential, and we have some auxiliary buttons you can add to us later, and we have off-road different modes and sway bars. And then we have the nice Rubicon stitching on the seats, and again, open air. Okay, let's talk engines. I don't have the specs on top of my head, but I'll put those down below. Ford EcoBoost engine and the Ford Ranger. Move along. We'll do the Jeep Gladiator, 3.6 liter engine as well. Um, what's interesting about the Gladiator, you'll notice, is the alternator is up higher. It allows more water fording depth. That's where they get that from. Because the biggest thing water fording is air intake and it is uh, electrical components like the alternator. Here we are in the 2019 Ford Ranger. Ford Ranger. 2019, make sure we get the model years right. This is 2.3. 2.3 liter. Yes, 2.3 liter turbocharged EcoBoost engine with manual transmission. Nice. Um, no, we don't. No, excuse me, automatic. <laughs> I was on a roll there too. You're so uh, let's see, what do we got? Uh, this is a Super Crew four wheel drive, five foot bed Lariat. And I got four low, we're in four low right now. I have train management mode, which can tell you what train I'm going through. It changes the transmission a little bit, the shift points, everything. Makes it better for that mode when you do that button. Uh, this Ranger came back last year, I believe, was unveiled, and then it's been on sales lots for a while. Uh, what's interesting with this is it's if you're used to the old Ranger, this is much bigger than the old Ranger. Um, it is much more roomy inside the cabin. Mm -hmm. I do like the design inside the cabin. Yeah, I get little Timisms about it, but I think overall it's a very usable what's one interior. Of your 
Oh, I just, I always don't care for the way they do the buttons. I just don't like their buttons. And then when you're looking at the HVAC system, you got to look up top on the screen to see what the temperature is. And you got to set it down here and it's kind of dark, but really hard to see yeah. in dark light. Like right now, I can't really see the plus yeah, minus right for the, again. for the, uh, left or right at that all right. I can't really see like plus or minus, like as far as yeah, it's a the tough. temperature. So it is a little tough. Okay. Um, I, you know, I, I like big door handles. This has got it. It's great. Um, I just I get those little timisms about things. Right. I had to ask. You mentioned. So I, I know. They're just always little timisms okay. that I have. Um, we have one USB way up there. The the controls for auto off and the locking uh, rear differential, just they just don't quite. They could be mounted better. Better placement for stuff. Okay. Um, I do like the Ranger though. You do. I do find it pretty comfortable. I like the styling of it. It's very typical Ford exterior. Um, it's it's very much like it's, it's very comfy. It's, it is. It's a more. Uh, I'm gonna get in trouble for saying this. Car like truck. Like it's very comfortable inside. She will never be on the show again. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. It is. Feel very like almost too big and uncomfortable and stiff inside. And this is a very comfortable truck. It is. It is. And it's definitely a truck you can live in. It's something yeah. you could off road in. Fairly comfortable for a long period of time. It's not something in like compared to our competition today. We have a Gladiator and an AV Bison. Um, Colorado. It's not something to that degree, right. but it's definitely something you could do, like camping, going out in, in nature, and going off roading. And to that's be fair, degree. the stuff that these other vehicles are doing, which some of it's tough and some of it's easy, we're doing it in the Ranger. We are. We are. So. Yeah. I just. I would think. I would want more capability than what mm -hmm. this offers. Um, you do only get the. Uh, there's not a lot of different cab configurations, and one of the things that was disappointing when this came out was that the old Ford Ranger was really about fleets. It was a very much a fleet vehicle. And this is definitely not a fleet vehicle. It's not mm -hmm. something fleet guys would really buy. Yeah. Again, the bed height's a bit taller. It's hard to get into bed. Um, I'll put a video above that I did on this truck. And I have five things I didn't like about it and five things I liked about it. And you guys love that video. It's got tons of views. So go ahead and check that out. Uh, I talk about different things like uh, oil filter placement, bed height, um, things I like about it, mm -hmm. interior roominess. That kind of stuff. So, I think overall, uh, in this price point, I think it's one of the more inexpensive versions. Forty-four thousand nine hundred and sixty dollars, as is. Okay, so it's not the cheapest one we have out here, but it's definitely you can get this lower price point, you know, and be okay with that. Versus like the competition, like as we have the Bison and Gladiator, you can't do that with mm -hmm. this. You can get this in a lower price point and right. uh, easier, you know, easier vehicle to own in that case. Easier on your budget. Very much so, and the EcoBoost is fun. It's fun. Yeah, this is fun to drive. Just I just drove it. It's Tim's turn. I had it for like a half an hour. Yeah, yeah. Tim's turn to take it through the mud and yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of my thoughts on a Ranger. I mean, it's it's something that you're gonna it'll appeal to you when you get in it. It's gonna fit you. Entry exit is fantastic in this. It's just gonna fit your lifestyle, and it's definitely a truck that's smaller than the F one fifty. And so if you don't need the big F one fifty, this is what you need to have. Okay, in the Jeep Gladiator, which is just an appropriate name for this vehicle because it is a Gladiator today in our uh, trail track tour, um, it is just a beast off road. You do have all the Jeep Wrangler heritage added to with the bed in the back. Yes. We have the top off. It's a lot of fun. Woohoo! Um, the only, you know, <laughs> I, I, could, I could lavish all sorts of praise over this Jeep Gladiator and it'd all be true. I mean, it's just got cool technology great cameras they thought of everything in this it's got great payload it can tow as well and i'm just going to cut the bowl and give you the two downsides of this vehicle number one is that if you want it to drive like a jeep wrangler it's probably not it's going to drive a little bit like a jeep wrangler but it's longer it's just a longer vehicle so your breakover angle is a little bit different departure angles i think departure angle is the same but the breakover angle is a little bit different because the length of the vehicle if you're used to driving a wrangler you think you're going to hop in this and it's going to drive the same way you're going to be sadly mistaken sadly mistaken yes, yes. um the other downside is it only comes in one cab configuration and only one bed length which is kind of a problem for some people and the third thing is really the only big downside to it is the price it can get expensive and it can get expensive fast yes it can be a very expensive vehicle and it's definitely to me as much as jeep tells me it is a truck and it can do truck things well, it's really a lifestyle vehicle and i'm okay with that I, i'm totally fine with that i i i love this i love this thing I yes know, it's, it's, i want to call it a truck i want to call it a jeep i i think this is great and because you have this whole open everything and you yep. rip the doors yep. off and and it's so it gives you this ability to have something that really has truck capability but then you can off-road but it's just fun it is every it's other just truck a lot of fun driving today is fantastic but are any of them this fun hands out the roof yeah. fun yeah you can't do no that. no they're not i mean you there's know? they're capable so like 
um, you know, we're driving all these trucks today, and but this was definitely the one we saved for last, last vehicle I'm driving because mm -hmm. it's the easiest drive of all of them. You know, this is just a point and go. There's nothing here I'm ner just nervous about. We did the loop, we d and we've driven four trucks now, and we did this one sort of complex section a few seconds ago, and I've driven it in two vehicles, this and one other, and then the other truck, it was just, it's fine. It's like the truck handled it, but I'm steering in there, a little left, little right, little left, little right. This one, he's like, little left, okay, go. Like, if you don't, <laughs> yeah. you don't need any direction, it uh -uh. just does it. He's like, it's got it. Yeah, you know? yeah, it definitely has that. So now comparing this one to say the Jeep Gladiator, oh, that's very a tough one. They're very buying different buying, trucks. different type. I mean, the Gladiator is such a big um, off-road vehicle. It's really purpose-built. It's really a lifestyle truck, in my opinion. The tow, you know, the towing is better than the Gladiator. The payload is better than Gladiator. But really, in this in this area of vehicles, this uh, segment, mm -hmm. towing and payload is not that huge of an issue. So this is a it's a tough competition for the Ranger. Uh, price points can be where it's going to win. Uh, EcoBoost engines can be where it's going to win as far as fun off the line and fuel economy. Uh, that's where the Ranger is going to win. I think the Ranger is more comfortable inside than the Gladiator is. But if you're looking for off road and looking for off road plus truck, that's your, that's your Gladiator, Gladiator is going to win. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. This Jeep Gladiator versus, say, the first one on the line is the Ford Ranger. Yes. Is it even a fair comparison? I don't. I don't think it is. I don't think the. I mean, the Ranger is a capable vehicle, but it doesn't have the even near the capability of this. Yeah. Um, and yeah. it feels very different. This is a different. There's a very distinctive feel to this car that this truck. Sorry, that that truck does not have. Yeah, it's it's a really hard comparison. I could see people do, trying to do it a lot and things like that, but it's it's really just night and day. They're just so different vehicles. And the Ranger, nothing against the Ranger. It's very comfortable to drive. Uh, really good room inside. Uh, we really like the interior setup. It's just just not even close to this. And it, it's it, they're targeting two very different people. I don't think the person who's getting this is is really looking at the Ranger. Two different personalities, two different needs, two different goals in terms of even what you may or may not do, what you might think you might do in this and never actually do, but you might think. One day, yeah. you want to do this, so I'm going to get this. And you can if that one day ever comes, but, you know. Yeah, so if you're cross-shopping these, and, you know, maybe you are, and people do, all, all sorts of stuff, um, you're definitely looking at a lower price point of the Ranger, just an overall different vehicle. So if you're if you're looking at those two as a possible comparison, um, it's really an apples and oranges. Yeah. It's really what it is. Mm-hmm.